Tickets to your favorite city. I got plans for your ring, for your finger, and it's sitting pretty. What, what up, up Globe Trotters? It's Jay Blaze. And Vanessa. And we're back with another episode of. You already know. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Global. Global. And on this episode, my German girlfriend is trying American snacks. Now I know a lot of you guys might have seen the last episode, her American boyfriend trying the German snacks that we did in Germany at her parents' table where I rated the snacks, but it's her turn to rate my snacks. Now a lot of these snacks are snacks that I had when I was a kid, or some of these are some new snacks, you know, that I've never even had. We picked them out together, and what do you think? I have a feeling that it's gonna be so sweet today, like overdose sweet. You guys are known for very, very sweet, sugary food. Yes. It's not that we already been to having burgers and in and out today. So yeah, give me some more calories, baby. Okay, perfect. And if this is your first time watching, or you want us to try snacks from all around the world, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those post notifications on. And don't forget to get this video a nice fat like. Okay, so what's the first snack you're gonna try? I'm like curious about those Pop-Tarts. The Pop-Tarts, okay. I have so much of it. You guys, my dad is American, so when our family from America used to come to Germany, they would always bring American mm -hmm. snacks, but this I never had. So these are Pop-Tarts frosted blueberry, and these are- Is it think, like a cookie? It, it, it's not like a cookie, it's a sugary pasty to keep kids hyperactive. So think about the kid is late for school and mom's like, grab a Pop-Tart. And should you, are you gonna eat it like that or are we gonna put it in the toaster? Yeah, put it in the toaster. Put it in the toaster. Right. Okay, let's check. We're gonna get the toaster. Okay, perfect. It should be good now. It's probably gonna be hot though. Oh, Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Super hot. Uh, let's push the toaster. That's what you not give your kids. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. You let's want, go. You want hive? No, no, no. It's all you. Okay. Go ahead. Let me break it. Okay. It comes with a blueberry filling. Mm hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> yes, <I'm> just... <laughs> Um, yeah, it's good. It reminds me of the Dutch cake. So when I would go to the Netherlands, they would have something similar. Like one is definitely enough, two would be too sweet for me. Got it. Okay, so what do you give it? What do you rate it? I would rate it a three. A three, a three mm -hmm. out of five. Okay. Right, what snack did you want to try next? Uh, how about something salty? Salty. Okay. So this looks like some crackers, some cheese crackers in gold or in fish shape. Let's see. I never really liked these. <laughs> so we're gonna see how she likes them. You know, they're not really my thing, but I have a feeling you like them. It, 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 okay. it, it tastes similar to jumpies, the Good. ones that I had in the German video. Mm -hmm. So, there's a good chance you'll like them. Oh, it's from the brand that does cookies too. Yes, they make cookies as well. Oh, they're smaller than I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, see, I, I totally knew she would kind of like those. I'm not a big Cheez-Its fan. I'm not a big uh, what goldfish fan. What is this baby cheddar? I guess that's the, the cheese that they that it is, baby real chest. Mm -hmm. So what do you give it? What do you rate it? I would rate it a five. Wow, ding, 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 ding. Okay, we have a five out of five. So you would rebuy this snack. So you know what? Maybe we should try the Mr. Beast chocolate, okay? That's so so cool. we were looking at different chocolate bars and we decided to get like some modern day. These are all the ones that a lot of people know, but this is the brand new Mr. Beast chocolate bar and it's almond chocolate. So go ahead and yeah. do the honors, open it. I'm super excited for them. I was looking mm -hmm. for them before because we are a huge Mr. Beast fan. I love the video where he got buried alive. I got chills by what, just watching this, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Always um, roots for them and he says it's a good alternative or a solid alternative, more healthy alternative to Hershey's chocolate. Yes, and my favorite Mr. Beast video, speaking of favorite Mr. Beast videos, 
is when he um, cured all the blind people. The, I think it was oh, a yeah. thousand blind people. I thought that was super yeah. dope and magnificent. Uh, so let's try his chocolate. Happy to support too. Mhm. Mm it's good. Okay, let's see. Let me let me try. It's less sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's dark chocolate. It's just arm, almond chocolate with almond chunks. Mm -hmm. It tastes, you know, I'm gonna add, join in on this one since I've never had this. It tastes like a more healthy Hershey's bar. Yes. You know, um, definitely. I, I don't mind it. We should make brownies out of this chocolate. You know how I always have the Hershey's chocolate yeah, for the brownies. Yeah, brownies with this could be very turn out very good. Could be great. Yeah. And he says only five ingredients. Yes, The less perfect. ingredients, the better. Yes. And it has a very rich chocolate flavor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, what, what would you rate it? Um, I would give it a five. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. And since I ate this one, I'm going to rate it also. Yeah. I and I like also, that it's not that sweet. I would also give it a five. So, I'm back with the blindfold to cover her eyes. And I'm going to mix up the snacks and then she's going to choose. That's how we're going to decide the next one that she eats. This should be fun. How many fingers do I have up? <laughs> Three. How many fingers do I have up? Two. No? Okay, perfect. You can't see anything? Were the first three right? No, none of them were right. Oh. Okay, now we will mix up the snacks that you know ahead. Gra grab the snack. Okay, we have one. Go ahead. Know what it is? The, um, the chocolate thing. Yes. Yeah. The milk duds. The milk. All right, so we just milk, had chocolate. Milk duds. What does that mean? Huh? What does uh, that mean? Duds is like you're dud, you're whack a little bit. Really? Yeah, if you're a milk dud, if someone calls you a milk dud, it's probably not the best thing. It's an insult? Uh, uh, yeah, it, mean, it, it, means you have, it means you have no swag. Like that movie was a dud. You know, and like, it comes from this? And yeah, it kind of originates from that. The, that. That movie was a dud, it was trash. They made it taste better then. Okay, yeah. it says Nick Duds, candy made with chocolate and caramel. Okay, this is her first time having Milk Duds. Can you believe this? <laughs> you grew up with them? Yeah, Um, I've never been a huge Milk Duds fan. I guess Milk Duds won't be sending me any Are bags. You ready? Hmm. Okay, they're very chewy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a little bit, yeah, of chocolate around it that I just made, and now it's just one big caramel mm. candy. Not bad. Does it remind you of anything in Germany? Mm -hmm. You you know the reason? Yes. The bonbons I eat. Yes. The candy. Yes. Kind of like those. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So on a scale from one to five, what would you rate it? Mm. It's pretty good. I would give it a four out of five. Nice. Okay, so the Mr. Beast chocolate is better then. Mm -hmm. Okay, see? Um, I've never been a super huge fan of the Milk Dud, so I'm going to pass on that now. Like You should choose the next snack now. Since I chose and then the blindfold, now it's your turn. Okay, because I'm thirsty now, I picked the drink. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, what is this? This is called Starry. So I've never even had this drink. This is, I think, a pretty new drink. So I've never had it. It's uh, lemon lime, so yeah. we can have it together. Let's try it. Yeah, I expect like a Sprite, but with more lime uh, flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm. more lime taste. Yeah, yeah. It, ta it, it tastes it like Sierra Mist in my opinion. Uh, one out of five, what do you give it? I give it a four. A four? Yes. Wow, that's a high rating. Yeah. Because it's soda, I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Soda's not really good for you, but it's good to have some I mean, once it's in a not while. about what's good. If, if we go like this, nothing can be on the table. Yes, true. It's, it tastes great, though. Today okay. is cheat day, guys. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, so. I do this on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the next one? Okay, how about those wrap snacks? The wrap yeah. snacks. The wrap snacks. Shout out to Master P. For the wrap snacks and little baby. All in flavor, sounds good. Mm -hmm. I like that, I like that. Um, salt and vinegar, barbecue, onion, garlic, and more. So the wrap snack, it has different wrappers on there. Yes, different okay. wrappers on each different flavor. Oh yeah, flavor. That's, a, that's a smart branding. Um, mm -hmm. When you're into hip hop and you see that, 
you're gonna buy it. Let's see. This is mm -hmm. uh, salt, vinegar, barbecue, onion, garlic, and more. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those vinegar taste from time to time. Tastes good, yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you give it? A scale from one to five. Mm. Can wash it down with some of our story. <laughs> I like that it's not too salt. It's like really good balanced out. I had chips here in the States that weren't my thing, but I would give them a four. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would give it a four out of five too. Love, L-O-V-E, as you can see. I love my girl. She's so lovely. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I would I would say the the red chips did their job. Okay, perfect. All right, come on, let's pick another snack. Okay, now. let's go for this Mexican snack. Okay, so this is Mexican candy. So this is not necessarily American, but mm -hmm. anyone in California definitely knows all about the Mexican candy because we have it in every single store. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of the West Coast experience. Nice. So this is mango con chile. Let's try it. Nice, yes, and I love that you guys have so much Mexican food. Um, I like mango. I like dried fruit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it spicy? Yeah. Uh, it could be a little spicy sometimes. Oh, it comes in two. Mm hmm. Probably super. Let's see. Mmm. It's good. I feel because it's a real mango, it's more healthy. So, more my thing, definitely. Mmm. Try it. Let's see. It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The tangy flavor. Yeah. It gets down to the mango. That's my thing. I give it a five. Nice. Yeah. Yes, I give it a five out of five too. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna rebuy this. Nice. Because I like the natural sweet so much more. Can't beat that. Yeah, it's really good. We should do a video just with Mexican snacks. Yes, comment below yeah. if you guys want us to do a video with mm -hmm. just Mexican snacks. I mean, we can go to Mexico. And do it in Mexico, right? Oh my god, that would be so amazing. Let's try one of those here. Okay, one of these. So these two are cereal, Apple Jacks and Lucky Charms. You had and them as a kid? I had those as a kid. I had those as an adult. I don't have them anymore, but... <laughs> and then we have um, mac and cheese Cheetos. Cheetos, Ooh. mac and cheese, bold and cheesy flavor so i think Whoa. you're gonna have to make this one that sounds wild so which one you want to go with yeah let's go for that let's uh okay i've never had this one either so this is gonna be interesting let's try i'm gonna yeah. put in the microwave okay guys we just put the mac and cheese in the microwave you put water in there right mm -hmm. yes and then it comes with a powder This powder is glowing. <laughs> okay, I stir it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like the original, the, the mac and cheese that your family makes so much more. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but as a snack, in an emergency, it's pretty good. It, it does its job and I would give it a free. No, oh, okay, okay, Try let's it see. As well. I've never had it before, so let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cheesy. I'd give it about a three as well. I, I think that's appropriate. What do you want to try next? Let's go for the Twinkies. Ooh! I used to love these when I was a kid. I literally would eat a box of 10 in one day. I'm surprised what? I'm not, yeah, super fat. I would eat the whole box. Yes. So, Go ahead. Let's... Yeah, so I, I know them from, I watched MTV back in the days and there was a dating show where they ate Twinkies. The guy was feeding the girl with the Twinkies. Yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I've tried to. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just how I remember them. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. Give Still a kick. classic. Yeah. What would you give them? One to five. Oh, three and a half. Agreed. Three yeah. and a half. Solid. But I can eat more than one. Yes, brings back childhood memories instantly. Yeah, I like the name. Twinkies, my little Twinkies. Oh, maybe now we should try some cereals. Okay, all right. Okay, which one? Apple Jacks or Lucky Charms? Apple Jacks sounds good. Apple Jacks, okay. Okay, Apple Jacks, sweet cereal with apple and cinnamon. Yes, Apple so, and cinnamon is always a good idea. When I was a kid, this was one of the most famous cereals that they would have all the commercials. You beg your mom when you go, she goes to the grocery store to buy you Apple Jacks. I used to love it. Uh, yeah. So let's see what you think of it. Yeah, um, it's from Kellogg's. We have Kellogg's in Germany, of course, too. I grew up with it, but we didn't have those. Yeah, I didn't see any Apple Jacks while we were in Germany. <laughs> Look like... Um, Nice. Okay. We don't really have a uh, whole regular milk in the house. She's gonna be trying it with some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Yes. So let me eat it first like this. Okay. Guys, let me know in the comments if you also eat cereals without milk sometimes. Yeah, I could definitely eat them like that, just like that. But let's try it with almond milk. Perfect. Definitely when we were a kid and you're late for school, this is again kind of like Pop Tarts, this is when you have time to sit down. But they made it in these cups so that when you're in the go on the go, you can eat it in the back of the car on the way to school nice. also. Yeah, but usually sitting at the table with a nice bowl of Apple Jacks before school, probably looking at something on the back of the box because they a used lifestyle. to put it's a lifestyle, you know, definitely brings back memories. Mm-hmm. Nice. But you have to eat them fast, otherwise they get too soft. soggy. You know, soggy. I once knew like, a, a, like a person, that? one of my friends, they used to, he used to always eat cereal, but he would let it get completely soggy and Not then eat thing. it. I thought he was a cereal killer for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a true story. Not okay. my thing. Uh, you want to try this one too mm -hmm. while we're on the cereal topic? Lucky Charms classic. Everybody knows of Lucky Charms. You can tell it's almond milk. Oh, wow. Perfect. Try it. It's not bad. Uh, I'm good. No, I'm, try it. I'm good. Trust I'm good. Me. Mm -mm, try. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. You're right. You can't tell it's almond milk. Just have to trust me when So, I what do you give a rating? One to, one oh. to, one to five on that uh, one. Super solid. I give it a four for five. A four for five. Yes. Okay. Nice. And she's been in the States for two years already and never had cereal, never had Twinkies, okay. never had Pop-Tarts, or Goldfish actually, crazy enough. Okay, so this is Lucky, Lucky Charms. Yes. With like cute little rainbows. Yes, it's marshmallows. Yes, it's like, wait, it's marshmallows? Yeah, the Lucky Charms are marshmallows. Oh. Yeah, di different, sweet. They bring you luck? <laughs> Maybe that's what the kids would say Ooh. in school. Okay, okay, way mm -hmm. much sweeter than the, um, what's the name? Than the Apple Jacks. Than the Apple Jacks. Would you give that? You give it a four out of five? This? The no, Apple Jacks? The, other, the, the Apple, Apple Jacks. Jacks is a four, but this, um, no, I get, mm. It's too sweet and it's like marshmallow is not my thing and then especially not for breakfast. It's like, uh, I would give it a two to be honest Ooh, with you. Oh, wow. Okay. Try we it? have our lowest one. No, I've, I've had it plenty of times. Um, no, that's so you true. would give it a two. These are the yeah. gluten-free ones. Man. Maybe it's because it's gluten-free. It tastes a little different. Uh, it is what it is. That's it our is lo what it lowest is. score. Okay. Yeah. We got just three snacks left. This Kool-Aid is for the pickles, just in case you guys were wondering. Here, come, let's get over with the pickles. Oh, and no, this should be the finale. We'll okay, save that okay, for the okay. finale. So maybe we should go for the honey buns. More sweet stuff. Ooh, have you ever had a honey bun? Uh, like... I haven't. Is it like a cinnamon roll? Or... Kinda, kinda similar. It's pretty big. Yes. 
Go ahead. Let me see how many calories. Oh. Come on. 480 per serving. Per serving? How? Oh, wow. Yes. So if oh, one eat, bun is a seven. If I would eat three of those, that's all. That would be my daily doses. Yeah, yes, da daily dose of calories. Oh, that's sweet for me. I already know. <laughs> yeah. It's like sticky. Wow. These used to be so fun as a kid. Sugary again, something you grab and go for breakfast, and you have it with milk, and you could warm it up sometime in the in the microwave and it's just super tasty, superb. No. Uh, but I haven't had one in years. Mm -mm. What do you think? That's a two. Oh, I don't another like the taste. Two. I don't like the taste, it's too sweet for me. It's like something is missing. It's just Let's one try. big bun. That's a no for me. I smell it, so one, one to two. I would either go to uh, get uh, like a donut if I want to have something like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. We have a, a, a two. Ding dong. Ding dong. This is super classic. Um, crazy enough, I didn't see any of these hostess products, even the super popular ones in the grocery store in Germany. So, do the honors. Thank you. I think my dad talked about it. I think my dad, when he used to live in the States, he um, loved Ding Dong. So I think I had it before as a kid. I think he showed me them before. Um, I think we also have something similar in Germany, but let's see. There's like a filling inside, right? I believe so. Yeah. Well, these were never... Why they, what, why their name is Ding Dong? I honestly don't know, but... Uh, you don't want to get called a ding dong. I can tell you that. It's like, well, it's like being a dork or like a. Why are all those sweets are insults? Because um, fat kids used to eat them in school, I think, <laughs> and people used to bully them. No bullying here, stay back. But I think that's how it evolved. So you would um, call an overweight person a ding dong? I think in movies, in American movies, a lot of overweight people at school so would mean. be seen putting ding-dongs in their mouth. I'm sure I can show you at least two or three movies. Oh, so So that's like, why they're super popular. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Tr try it. You gotta get the white filling. Don't put this in the movie scene. <laughs> that's good, though. Oh, wow, she likes it. Gotta get some of the white feeling, too. Mm -hmm. mm. Hello, sweet, but... Once in a while. Okay, so on a scale from one to ten, what do you give it? Three, one to five, sorry. Three, three point five. Three point five, okay, that's better than the Lucky Charms. The moment of truth. I'll let you do the honors. Okay, yeah, this is, um. So this is one of my favorite childhood snacks. I still eat it. Pickles with Kool-Aid powder. But that's not okay. an American thing, you invented that. Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't invent it. Yeah, yeah, my, mom used, my, my, my mom used to eat it when I was a kid, but I know many people so you grew up with that it. said that they ate it as a kid. So it's obscure, it's not so popular, but let's see. Okay. So you got the juice is going to spill out, so you got to rip it slowly. Got it. Big Papa. Yes. And a, a big picture smiling at me. And... and I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. But yes. It's like like it wanna the pickle wanna hug you with them with them shoes on. Make sure if you guys like this video and you've guys gotten, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And we're trying German snacks and we're trying snacks in different countries all over the world. Okay, take it out. Okay, so first give it a give it a nice big bite from the top first. Okay, how's the pickle taste? Sour. Okay. Ooh, very sour. So now we're the gonna cashier take, said she lost them. <laughs> so we're gonna take this right there, and we're gonna do this. No, not too much. Not too much. Then, give it a nice sprinkle. Okay, there we go. And then now, bite it. Now is the moment of truth. You try my snacks, pickles and Kool-Aid. Ooh! <laughs> sour! 
<laughs> I finally got her. He just loves the sour stuff. Mm -hmm. He loves sour candy like crazy. What do you give it? Um, I'm not that fan of sour too much. So I would give it a two and a half. Oh. <laughs> okay, well I give it a five out of five. That's good for you. Yeah, I know you do. So yes. here, you can eat it. Perfect. Um, you can eat it. Um, we're not gonna get in each other's way. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun as well. Let us know which is your favorite American snack. Maybe we're gonna do a part two. Yes, let us know, comment below if you wanna see more. And also, comment below, subscribe, and like this video if you want us to go try snacks in different countries all over the world. I think we're gonna make this a thing if you yes. guys like it. And for until the next video, Mr. and Mrs. Global, we, we out. Plane tickets to your favorite city. I got plans for your ring, for your finger, and it's sitting pretty. I got bands for your story, for your friends. That's a smile from your face. Got you moving in my place. Yep. Plane tickets.